Alright everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Getsu Fuma Den, Undying Moon. It is a Sumie roguelite uh, action RPG kind of thing, and it looks incredible. It's kind of like, uh, I mean, I guess the easy ex example I could give is if you had like Okami, but put it side-scrolling, and probably a wildly different combat style, probably closer to Dead Cells than anything else. Boy, it looks incredible. With the seal upon hell undone, the world may soon meet its end. Ugh. Do you still not know of my brother's whereabouts? Oh, no, that was him. But nine members have been sent to search for him, but his location is still unknown. Then I shall do this myself. You are the one chosen to lead the clan. Thus, the task of dealing with this cataclysm falls upon you. Yes. I'll go at once. <laughs> Cripes. <laughs> Prepare yourself. For a dude that's like chosen to lead the clan, I... Mainly just the fact that his armor is already on fire and demon shaped. Like these... These people do not skimp on the outfits. <laughs> Seriously though, look at this dude. He's wearing like flaming demon armor. I... I don't know. I can't get over this. He is... He very much... Uh, this is not casual clothing, or maybe this is casual clo clothing for this town. I mean, judging by the rest of everything, maybe it is. It's like difficulty. Ah. Okay, so we got commoner. Well. Oh. Initial weapon quality one. Okay, so there's kind of a counterbalance. It doesn't just make it harder. It's important to know when to retreat. Well, I guess I'll grab my nameless katana. I wonder what would have happened if I went out there without. The land of limbo. I'm digging what I'm seeing so far. The tutorial is a little confusing, but the rest of this feels solid. I I think so much of it has to do with the fact that the, the sheer visual style is just incredible to behold. I'm curious if there's anything that I should be trucking with here. Okay. That seems like a shrine that might teleport me somewhere. Dude cannot handle it when I'm behind him. Okay. Grab these. We get an antique spear. I'll take that. That seems pretty good. Okay, and Kunai of the Night. Yeah, I'm curious about the whole limited ammo situation. Nope, looks like I can just get through here. Okay. Oh. I think what I've got is just better. Okay, and that's fast travel. Weird, weird looking dude. Is there anything else back over here? No. But I will once again compare this to uh, to Dead Cells. It seems like there's some Metroidvania elements to the locations you can travel, or like uh, you unlock extra paths. Oh, it's a shop. I do have the money. Inferno Mana Bracelet, Antique Umbrella. I want to try it. It seems like it does a ton of damage. And I'm here to just try whatever. Probably should have gotten rid of the bow. I'm actually way less likely to use a bow than anything else, but that's okay. Oh, bam! Well, it did It did do a ton of damage, so I guess I'll take it. Uh, let's see. That bow's about the same caliber. Now I gotta check. Can I air dash? Or air dodge? Oh, that's a bit tragic. But I guess it's fine. Okay, the bow's better than the one I've got. Oh, 
Oh, the cop move. Is that the dude from below shelling me? He, it is. Okay. Many things are going to take some getting used to, but that's okay. Yeah, it doesn't have quite the flow. Ow. It doesn't quite have the uh, the Dead Cells flow that I'm looking for. But that's okay. Alright, so I'm... Oh. Banger Pursuit Purple. I'm going to try it instead of the bow. If we're lucky, this is a poisoned kunai. Okay. A bumper to potion. Oh, I see. Okay. And it does look like we've got some unique air attacks, which is nice. I don't know. I might actually really, uh, really get into this. Because one of the things I ran into with Dead Cells was kind of the lack of cool combo moves. Uh, let's see. I think the King Katana is better than the Nameless Katana. I know there's a way that you can upgrade them. Holy shit. That... This sword is, uh, is... It's aggressive. Like I was I was digging the idea of the spear, but this might straight up be better. Okay, so the, I don't have to worry about the bombs having contact damage at the very least. I really gotta figure out how to... how that works. Okay, Unknown Katana. Teachings of the Blade, Teachings of Destruction. So Flash Attack up versus Sets in a Damage versus Break it. I don't know what any of these things mean yet. Ow. Okay, so there's no animation cancelling. A Nameless Mass. Alright, we gotta try that instead of the Antique Spear. Let's get... let's get Big Clobber. Seems like it's got a really slow attack speed. Probably a ton of damage, though, which is kind of the point. This seems like boss shrine. Let's see. We got anything else? Yes. There's at least one or two more locations that I haven't been to yet. We... What is down here? Absolutely nothing. That's the shop over there. Well, that was a little bit of a letdown. Hello, yes. Let me go to the spike, uh, spike pit land. What do you mean there's nothing else down there? Okay, did I go the other direction? Go down here. No. Search. I've extracted genomic information from the monsters. Could I not incorporate this into the Getsu clan to enhance our powers? In theory, it should be possible on a lasting basis. I much yeah. must capture test subjects. Oh, wait, an item dropped. Material pouch for refinement. Oh, and a healing potion. These are welcome. I'm glad I went back. I wasn't quite sure. We got to the end and I was just like, this feels kind of short. Oh, that's the, that skeleton in the background is actually, that's, that's moving. Oh gosh, it's got a heart in it. Japanese mythology is interesting to behold. I'm presented with it a lot, but it never feels particularly cohesive. You know, you always just see the creatures, but rarely why the creatures? I think the only thing that came close, which oddly enough, like, oh, is it, are we just fight? Oh, we're just fighting this sucker. All right. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, I can truck up that hand at the very least. I appreciate that he's got multiple damage zones that can be wailed on. Okay. I did some heinous things, I guess, to his hands. Is that it? Oh, he's just dead. All right. Out of my way stuff. Whoops. Give me for that. Grab the other material pouch. Yeah, not a big fan of the big club, but big fan of the sword. Okay. Oops. I mean, I guess that's fine. I didn't necessarily mean to do that, but that's okay. Forge weapons and unlock skills. Okay. Refinement. To use refinement and unlock skills, you must have necessary materials. In refinement, you also need the relevant armor scrolls. Diagram. Once a main weapon or sub-weapon has been refined, there's a chance it will appear randomly in the rest of, rest of the game. Unlock skill will reveal hidden... Skills for refined main weapons and sub-weapons. Activate unlock skills for a variety of effects. Skills must be unlocked in order. You cannot unlock a skill unless the previous one's been unlocked. To increase gear capabilities, aim to collect diagrams and materials as you play through stages. Oh, so it's like a little talent tree per weapon. Well, that's kind of neat. Activate the unlock skills of the main weapon and sub-weapons to use a variety of abilities. Activation will reset when you return to the Getsu Clan estate. Okay, but I need Ghoulhorn. So I can't do that. And Demon's Fang. I don't think we have nearly enough of those. What about sub weapons? Nope. What about training? Training will permanently enhance your six base abilities. Life, technique, break, flash, stealth, and impact. A certain number of spirit materials training are required for enhancement. Also some armor, armor scrolls. Okay. So this will increase my HP by 100. My regular damage multiplier by 5%. And the rest we can't get. I've only got 10. So I can't invest in either of those. Secret Arts. Plenty of additional abilities unlocked with Mastery. These are unlocked have a permanent effect. A certain number of Spirit Materials Master are required for enhancement. Some also require Armor Scroll Mastery Book. Okay. Well, I don't have a whole lot of these. So start a stage with 5,000. Increase the amount of potions I can have. 10% of each material type back upon death. Oh. Okay, well, I can't do anything with that. Activation, main weapon. I'm just going to assume I don't have anything and can't proceed yet. What's down here? Marine key to open up this path. Key to open up this path. Go back to the Getsu clan estate. Well, we might as well keep going. I don't really see... much of a reason to stick around quite yet. Or to leave quite yet. This game is a little confusing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think a lot of it is just like... Not that ain't it. How do I... Okay. Douche. Yeah, I think part of it is the translation's a little wonky. 
Uh, let's see, Soul Devour is that. Because I have... I have six souls, but it must be whatever is currently highlighted that I can actually Soul Devour into. Maybe? maybe? I, I think I'm going to have to look up a guide on, like, how to do certain things because I'm a little lost. I mean, otherwise, if somebody knows exactly how this game works, I am all ears just because. Barrage Mana Bracelet. Let's get rid of the Inferno one for Barrage. I'm not necessarily sure which is going to be better, but that's okay. Let's see, and Fanned Blades. Let's get rid of the Nameless Mass. Just try... Let's just try going Speed Fans, maybe. Well, it certainly just mulches people. Unfortunately, there's a lot of special effects when I'm hitting enemies. Uh, there's a very real possibility I'm going to get clobbered uh, by a foe because I can't tell what's going on because I'm hitting them too much. I guess what I should probably do is attack in moderation, but that's silly. No moderation, only attack. Okay. That's really cool. Okay. There, I kind of understand what's going on. Uh, let's see, Lily of the Valley does a ton of damage. It must be a higher rank. Aha! I have Big Bomb. It works. Okay. So if I do that, it increases my max HP. So I just have to wait until one of the stats that I'm looking for is highlighted. Because I just increased my health by one, and it gave me like 600 HP? That's uh, that's no slouch. Okay, and we have dual blades. Well, I'm just here to try everything. The fan seems interesting. Let's see how dual blades perform. Pretty, pretty well. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to keep trading up all of my equipment until we find out more. Oh, those red pits are just blood pools. Are those two Oni in the back just sawing a dude repeatedly? I... <laughs> <laughs> I... This is a very traditional... I want to drop down? I don't know if I can. Maybe it won't let me do it in combat. It's gotta be it. Okay, and there's another barrage mana bracelet. Yeah, so I'm going to have to be worried about those those wheels. Those wheels are spooky. All right, we should probably also stomp way more. Because I think that's actually supposed to be like a, a big damage up. Okay, do we... Yeah, I'm going to keep leveling up my basic damage. Do I go for an antique um umbrella? Sure. Which does more damage. Because I know the umbrella can be used to block. But I think it doesn't block all damage. Well, that also works. Lily the Valley. Get out of here, Kunai. It's bomb time. Oh, they're... Yeah, they're just on a cool cooldown, so I, I really should be utilizing these abilities, like, considerably more often. There is no downside... But yeah, I love these backgrounds. They really do look like those kind of wonky... Ow. They look like those, you know, wonky Sumi Ape paintings where they just kind of show off just a, a bunch of creatures just doing the... Ow, what? Okay. 
Okay. Bunch of creatures just doing random stuff. Let's see. Repu. And a poison flight diagram. Oh. For creating a poison... Uh, for a bow and arrow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Some rank 5 fan blades. Well... I guess I'll switch over to them. Nope, that didn't work. Where are you, my ancestor? Do you continue to fight even now? Oh, I was bleeding. That's what was going on. Oh, those guys actually have... Decent amount of loot. Let's see if that hurts me. Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's okay. Ow, what? You serious? Like I said, I'm going to take a lot of damage not knowing what the heck is going on. Rifled musket. Interesting. Is it just those two? Do we bo do we bother? Uh, let's see. I guess I will. I'm not sure how limited the uh, duration and cooldown is on a number of these, but I might as well just... I might as well play, see what we've got. Okay. But yeah, I... It's always interesting finding, like, old historical pieces with backgrounds like this. I'm actually way more interested in these backgrounds, I think, uh, than the game to some degree right now. It's, uh, it's a little clunky for me, and maybe I'm just not awake enough, or, I don't know, I think I just need to play more of it to really get in the groove. Oh. Well, that sucks. I meant to do something completely different. <laughs> hey, these jumpy dudes, I don't think they get stunned. They've got a very clear... They've got a very clear pattern, but they don't get stunned easy. Alright, so this is a shop. We might as well swing by, see if they have potions or something for sale. Ah. Material pouches. Oh. Those would be lovely, but I am poor. I guess I should heal up. There we go. Oh. That's why the rifle is good. Okay, so what's the cooldown on the rifle? 30 seconds. Ouch. Alternatively, no cooldown. Bye. I think the rifle's probably still worth it because it's got pierce. Uh, let's see, was that a dead end up there? No, these levels are huger than I was expecting. Um, but I always, I always like the weird paintings uh, whenever I took art history classes or it was just like, yeah, here's just like a bunch of shit going on in the background. And you kind of have to just look at it and stare for a while to even understand. Uh, wow, this... This little section. I mean, I guess it had the treasure chest. But it almost felt like this weird, screwed-up version of Where's Waldo? Where, you know, <laughs> that's exactly it, actually. I, w I wonder if that's part of the inspiration for Where's Waldo. Where you're just looking around, and it's just like, what even am I supposed to be looking at? Like, the 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 two Oni in the background with the, uh, the weird blood soup? Uh, the guy's sawing a part of dude just casually, f seemingly forever. It's not like they're making any progress. That's just, that's just what they do. That is, that is their lot in life. What's that one doing? I think that one's fishing. I can't actually tell. 
I, I'm, I'm very invested. Uh, it's in a potion. Uh, grab, grab. Got a nameless mass. It big. But I think that might be all that it is. Okay, is there anything else that I missed here? I think I was pretty thorough. That was pretty dang thorough. All right. I maybe don't have the best weapons for this, but I'm just I'm just going to swing it and we'll just see what happens. Hello? Oh. Okay, we might as well just use and abuse my ranged weapons. Miss the bomb. I gotta say the boss fights are cool though. Okay, that didn't work. Might as well heal up. Okay, bomb there. As I know for a fact, the bomb does, like, buttloads of damage. Okay. Stay with you for a second. Oh! That... Okay. Oh, he's stinking good. There we go. Ooh. That messed him up. That didn't work. It's okay. I so far so decent. Ow! Except for when he does that. That's the one move that I don't know when he's doing it. Like the rest of my maneuvers, I'm I'm pretty well hand or rest of his maneuvers I'm pretty well handled on but that's the one I don't know <laughs> what is even the point of using my weapons here I'm sure it's fine Yeah, it actually does a ton of damage. It's just the bow and the bomb are just so reliably useful. Dang. Yeah, it's just that one hit that's kind of busted on me. Ow. Okay, that one hurt. I've done like a shit ton of damage to him. Unfortunately, I'm poisoned and might just die from it. I guess we were very solidly in do or die. Thing is, I kind of know how to avoid him. Never mind. <laughs> Self meet petard and hoist. So I guess that uh, explosion has a little bit more of an AoE to it. Now let's see if there's any immediate meta progression or if it's more of kind of an in-run meta progression. 
Looks like I lost everything. I did... Okay, so I did get to keep some amount of something. We have a Demon Fang. That's problematic. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's gauntlets I can get. Okay. Now I know... We got a scroll. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much I can do with any of this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I... I kept nothing. I mean, I guess that's fair, and they're gonna just start me off with the Nameless Mass. That's fine. Do we... do we try and jam in one more? Yeah, I can go faster. Now that I kinda know what I'm doing. Abuse sub-weapons for clearing enemies. Uh, get a good weapon. I honestly, I favor the sword. I think more than anything else. Because I think the sword has the ability to do what I need. And had, had that cool special move. That said, I get the distinct feeling a lot of the special moves are just things that I'm going to have to learn as we go along. Wow. Gauntlets. Let's give them a shot. There we go. So, now that I've played this for about half an hour, I'm going to give some pretty informal impressions of... This feels like a clunkier Dead Cells. Which is good and bad. The clunkier means it's slower paced, so if any of you guys had... Uh, specific trouble getting into Dead Cells because of the speed, but otherwise liked the formula... Uh, this has some merits there. Switch to the gauntlets. Uh, that said, if you really like Dead Cells because of just how slick and smooth it was, uh, that is a bit of a an issue that this game is, is going to kind of run. Where... Did I? Okay, I didn't take falling damage from that. Uh, where it's never going to feel quite... Wow, that was rude. Yeah, because there's no fancy animation cancels or crazy tricks. Do I want to... Oh. I... This is throwing me off. Something fierce. He's not, he's not dead. There we go. Stay away from that. Yeah, I really wish I could do, like, a, a smooth roll into a dodge. And it doesn't really let me do that. I'm also really curious about this, this whole soul investment thing. I think that's partly where I went wrong. Um, that I haven't utilized that particularly properly, but I... It was confusing when it was explained, and so I think that's the kind of thing I'm going to have to just pay attention to. Because, yeah, it seems like my stats will intermittently glow, and when they glow, I can press in right stick to give them, like, one hell of a boost. Let's see. Go this way. Wow. Rifles are no joke. Let's get rid of the repu for the bomb. There we go. Do I want to go Kunai of the Night? As Spirit Absorption. Yes. Vitality is restored by an amount of the damage dealt. I don't have much for healing. But I'll take it. Okay, none of my stats have lit up yet. 
There we go. But yeah, I'm just gonna run around kunaiing and healing. Probably should not be using this club. I should frankly replace it. Oh, do we invest another one in? I guess so. There we go. Well, I'm certainly enjoying the kunai from like a level clearing perspective. They, uh, they got a nice bounce to them. And I can attack pretty quick, so it just mulches foes. Grab this. So it does look like I get at least one healing potion per floor as well. That's super handy. So I'm not totally without uh, recovery means. It's just not the cleanest. This is wonky. I'd really like to invest into my sub weapons if I can, seeing as I seem to utilize them a fair bit. I'm pretty happy with what I've got. Uh, let's see. That said, switch to this, grab Keen Spear instead of the Nameless Mass. What a name. Hello, yes. My favorite weapon is the Nameless Mass. Ow. That didn't work. I guess I'm just going to keep investing in, in my main weapon for a bit. That seems to be the only thing it, it wants me to invest into anyway. Uh, let's see. Okay. Not a whole lot left behind. We have the shop down below. I guess we might as well stick our head in and see what they've, get, what they've got. What they get. Okay. So we've got Pipe of Thunder and Flame, another Keen Spear, and some Antique Gauntlets. Some odd music. Some odd music that sounds vaguely familiar, and it's like, uh, do I have to worry about that? It's always a risk with uh, developers I've, I've never seen or interacted with before. It really wants me to just invest all of these into main weapon. I guess I'm going to do it. Worst comes to worst, it just makes makes my attacks really strong. Oh, there's another chest, chest on the other side of that. Okay, Fang of the Pursuit Vermilion. Let's let's try it instead of the Lily of the Va Valley. I th I think. Nah, the bomb is rank three. I'll stick I'll stick with the bomb for the time being. Is it better? I don't know. Okay, let's go fight the boss. I'm feeling reasonably confident here. At least the first boss wasn't too tough. I was going to say it's a bit of a shame they don't have alternate bosses, but what they have instead is alternate paths. Which, I, you know, honestly, that doesn't sound half bad. Let's see, hold the skip. Okay. Guess I kind of should have known that. Wow. Well, I tried rolling through that. It didn't function. Okay. Got it that time. This is going to be one of those roguelikes where... I'm not sure what he... Oh, he is summoning the skulls. Okay. Messed him up pretty bad. There it goes. I think I fought, fought him better the first time around, but you know what? 
that doesn't surprise me too much. Alright, so we get more souls. Oh. So each one of those sets me on the path. And then that gets me more of the purple souls. Which, I thought they were one in this... They worked simultaneously, or like, one in the same. I only have a couple of demon's fangs. Holy shit. Okay, training. I have seven secret arts. Boy, hootie. I still don't think I have enough. And if I do, I don't understand enough to realize that I have enough. I... I don't know. Tutorials are equally important and frustrating. I love tutorials that teach me unique mechanics that I wouldn't be able to normally understand. Or, like, I wouldn't have picked up from, like, another game, if that makes sense. I don't like tutorials that it's like, alright, here's how you attack. And it's like, nah, I've done that. I've done that, like, a billion times now. Okay. So I'll admit these kunai are good? I was really hoping for more on the healing front. But that's okay. I do... Oh, he ain't dead. That got close. Let's see. Nothing else. Bam. And as long as I don't let them run out, they seem to recharge kind of faster. Dull Blades, rank 4. I mean, I'll take it over the gauntlets. Because that seems to actually mulch. Okay, let's go up, I guess. Okay, I've got six invested in main weapon. We should probably start maybe investing in sub-weapon just to see if I can get it to do me any good. Alright, and this is the shop, but I'm pretty sure, once again, it's going to be materials and it's going to be grossly expensive. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I don't... I don't necessarily know uh, if what I'm doing is right or wrong. And there's not enough immediate information to find out. But sometimes what's almost more useful than just like an outright hand-holding tutorial right in the beginning is the ability to go go back and look things up after the fact and just be like, so what did this do? Oh, that's what this did. You know, that, that kind of uh, primer on like, relearning how to play now that I've at least had a taste because I find I often don't even I don't even process a tutorial until I've had a game in my hands for I'm gonna say a couple couple minutes uh, to even an hour and if it's a game that I'm really familiar with then it's just like oh yeah this one wasn't so bad hello goodbye uh, but if it's a game that's like oh gosh that's a big chumbus big hurdy chumbus. He did drop a ring for me, but so far the mana bracelets have been nothing but disappointing. Oh, he didn't. He just did like a forward slam. He wasn't actually trying to attack me there. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, we get a... Spiny Punisher. Teachings of Destruction. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the Keen Spear. I wasn't particularly keen on it anyway. Har. I love spears, but it's got to be done well. I often find most spears tend to be kind of okay at best. There we go. 
Uh, let's see. We get a bow. Don't care too much. Where am I going? Upper section there? I guess. Not nearly enough teleporters on this map. But it's fine. I've once again forgotten to look back at the absolutely wild backgrounds. <laughs> look at it all. Like... There's just so much going on there. Okay. Oh, I know. I know why I was confused. It was probably one of those floaty ghosty things that was in the area. And that's why it made me think that there was an, still an enemy up there. There we go. I guess I'll just go up first and foremost. Interesting guitar riffs for the background soundtrack for this game. Come back. Come back, I wish to clobber you with my big club. There we go. I don't think I'm actually going to care too much for Big Club. It just seems a little too slow. Not that this game is actually particularly fast-paced, but that's a, that's a long time to be locked into one animation. Okay, Yellow Magic. Chance to get the Parasite status. Well, more damage. And some bonus stats. I'll take. Yeah, I'm gonna keep using my kunai here. Which, yeah, seem to recover pretty quick as long as I don't deplete them. Oh, this is gonna... There we go. <laughs> Ow, that did hit me. Rude. Hello, creature. Can work great for you. Okay, I'm gonna take more damage than I'm gonna heal. Because of that archer. Not that I really heal much out of this. Okay. That's for getting Sugetsu, Blade of Refinement. I think these would mean a lot more to me if I was paying attention. Uh, do we keep leveling up the sub-weapon? Foolishly, yes. It doesn't actually seem like it really is helping too much, though. Which is the confusing part. healing potion. Grab that. It would... be somewhat foolish of me. I think we want to just start saving for the potions. More so than anything else. There we go. Unfortunately, I've got to find four of those blue souls just to be able to get a potion here. Because, yeah, I'd like to level up main, but it doesn't seem like it actually increases damage. Wait, what's that at the bottom? Oh, I see. That's just more perks.
Why did I come over here? <laughs> Having the faintest. Nope, it gone. Didn't die, it just pieced. Alright, here's the boss fight. It's probably gonna be the centipede again. Is there? Yes. There's one more section I haven't been in. Unfortunately, I'm going into it with even less HP. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. Nope, it's over here. I'd be a happy camper if it turns out I get a second healing potion. Nope. It's another shot. I mean, it might have a cool weapon in it. Or it will have Jack, Jack Biscuits. Let's see. Kunai the Poison Fang. No. Umbrella or fans. Not feeling most of this. And I'm also getting a pretty hard Sakuna of Rice and Rune feel from this. I mean, obviously they're both uh, they're both Oni fighting games, side scrolling, and so on and so forth. Um, but I'm more thinking in terms of the the pacing and the control that there's there's an amount of similarities there that are beyond just surface level. I feel kind of bad I never finished that game, but I mean I feel bad I don't finish like half the games I play. It's just cripes how am i ever gonna finish anything that's that's the eternal struggle for me it's just like man i'd like to finish this game i can't better work credit is due the bosses are, are fun to fight nope Okay, that didn't hit me, and I don't know why. Nope. Damn it. There we go. Kind of. Oh. Of course. I wasn't sure what he was up to. Dude's kind of a spook if he is not on screen. Oh. He was trying to go for a melee hit. that. Yeah, the biggest issue that I generally have Ow. I can't hit most of his body. Nope. Damn it. I wasn't sure what he was doing. It's fine. Anyway, this is a pretty good stopping point, uh, so it's not that big of a deal. It's an interesting roguelite. I like the- I love this style. The Sumie is wildly underserved in the games industry, and I feel like there's some serious potential for more. I wish they leaned into it harder with the actual, like, the characters and the environments that- the environments themselves are pretty basic 3D. It's the backgrounds that really get that Sumie feel. And I actually wish they'd leaned into it harder for the, the character models and whatnot. Just because uh, it kind of the 3D turns into visual noise with all the special effects. And it would have been kind of neat to see like more simplified character designs. But I think that's just a me thing. Um, otherwise, the, the weapon variety is kind of fun to play with. Especially the different abilities. I realize we haven't messed with them. There is some issues with clarity uh, in terms of the main sub health and potion upgrades. I understand how it works now. It seems to me like it's most advantageous to just constantly focus on leveling 
health or just stacking potions. Because leveling main and sub didn't seem to do much of anything. Maybe, maybe I just wasn't understanding what it did. Maybe it was what was either upgrading the rank or increasing the available abilities. I really don't know. Um, but it feels like the kind of game that once you've played like three, four hours of it and you've really mastered how it works, that would it, you'd pretty much overcome any of this level of confusion and, and know exactly what you're doing. So uh, more of a steep learning curve than an actual uh, an actual impediment to be, being good. And the boss fights seem really cool. I, if anything, I actually found the uh, the adventuring kind of uncompelling in comparison to the actual boss fights themselves because they felt a lot more interesting. I almost kind of would love to see a take on this. Uh, you get rid of the adventuring, you get rid of the, the, the bosses, or not the bosses, you get rid of the basic enemies or maybe you have a handful. Kind of go full Cuphead where the levels are fairly short and simple and to the point. And more about just, like, plowing through groups of enemies and challenges. And then then really go hard on the boss fights with, you know, maybe unique loot after every boss or something. But I, I think that's just me uh, finding the levels to be uncompellingly labyrinthine. Um, but I, I think that's just an umbrage I have with a lot of uh, procedural generation that it doesn't... I don't really feel like I'm exploring anymore. I'm just kind of poking my head in weird nooks and being like, What is in here? Nothing. Okay, turn around. Uh, blue's fine. I kind of wish they had kept this music for the level design. I like the guitar, but it just didn't really make a whole lot of sense for for this. I don't know why I'm being weirdly critical about this. It's a good game. I think it's one of those that I, I wish it played slightly smoother. And I think I could get into it more. Because Dead Cells felt peak. Like, if you knew what you were doing in Dead Cells, you'd never get hit. Or almost never get hit. And in this one, I'm not so sure if I'd have that capability. But I'm also pretty sure that I'm uh, there's going to be some experts for this game that can just go through pure hitless, knowing exactly what to do and just how to skunk it as hard as possible. So, uh, Getsu Fuma Den is on Steam. Now it is 25 bucks, And I don't... Oh, it's early access, actually. Huh. Alright, that's kind of cool, actually. I just all tabbed to take a look at it. Yeah, it being in early access is actually really promising because that gives it a lot of potential to potentially... Potential, potentially. Uh, to smooth out some of these these rough edges, add a lot more content, make the meta progression a little bit more accessible. It seemed pretty much like I was never going to be able to unlock any of those weapons until I beat the centipede, but the centipede was just tough enough that I needed some of it. Uh, but especially they'll be able to smooth out the tutorial so that new players can get into it better. So, because it's early access, I will be stopping here, and we'll come back for the 1.0 and see how it how it looks, because it's really promising right now, and I can't wait to see more later. But, for now, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, stick around and hit subscribe, because I've got a whole bunch of different indie games to check out, while we wait for the inevitable yeah, the inevitable 1.0 release of Getsu Fuma Den. But until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.